G E Z. What's good? Talk to me. Hey, listen, pleasure. Listen, thank you so much, man. I'm, I always feel honored because, you know, radio is like the dinosaur of ways to get the word out uh, now in comparison uh, to social uh, media. So uh, when I get a when I get a huge star like you that wants to do radio, I'm like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> nah, man, nah, I, I, I appreciate the support. I appreciate the love, man, from the bottom of my heart, man. And it's, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see it that way. I see it as, you know what I'm saying, it takes a village. Many hands make light work, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you know, I just... I never take it lightly, man. I just appreciate, you know, the love and support. So, you know, I'm here to get That's right what's back. up. That's yeah. what's up. Listen, let, let me get right to it. Jeezy, you are an established artist. Uh, you have an amazing story. Um, and and I'm, I'm just continuing to watch you just rise in the ranks of, of, of what you do. So I just want to take it back to the beginning. How did the music find you? The music found me... You know, it's it one of those one of those things in the universe, man. The energy just kind of like coalesces. In, you know what I mean? It just comes into my spirit. I don't know, man. I mean, I started rapping when I was about thirteen or fourteen. You know, I was, you know, I had been in love with music just, you know, as a kid, and and culturally, um, you know. But I started making beats, and then I started rapping pretty much around the same time. And you know, some something clicked. Like I could put these together and. You know, and 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 I could save up and get a mic from Guitar Center, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> and and record a song, and then I could put it out, and then you know, what I mean, that could actually be a thing, you know. And that that crazy idea was something I just fell in love with, and you know, fast forward all these years, and you know, probably about two thousand songs later, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what when when was it, or when was it that you knew you had some? that you had something. Was it somebody that kind of discovered you and was like, yo, aside from you doing the work on your own, was there somebody that said, yo, you got something, man? You're talking to the guy who discovered me. Beautiful. <laughs> that discovered me. Um, you know, and I discovered me before, you know, before anybody could have seen it because it was like, you know, it, it, it was a moment where I think I was listening to Jay-Z Black album and it was just like, I was just like, damn, like, I just, I just want to like, you know, I want to chase the stars. I just want to like, you know what I mean? I, I want to, I want to swing for the fences. I want to go for it all. And, you know, it really just, it really just, you know, one foot in front of the other and just applying the work and just like day in and day out and just, you know, doing it for the right reasons. I mean, if you do something cause you love it, you're going to do it a lot. And if you do something a lot, you're going to get better at it. And then if you, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just about, you know, like staying in love with what you do and just putting the work in. And it doesn't feel like work when when you love what you're doing too. So that's the other that plus. Is, that is the key. Yeah. I, absolutely. Uh, let's take it back. Where were you born and raised, and where do you live now? I uh, grew up in Oakland, California, back and forth, Berkeley and Oakland, Bay Area, uh, East Bay, and um, then I moved to I moved to New Orleans um, when I was 18, and lived there for six years. I went to college in New Orleans, um, and then and then I bounced around for a while, like I. When I left New Orleans, I was living out of a suitcase. Um, huh. I was, I was, you know, I was doing my music, but it hadn't really popped off yet. I wasn't signed. I started touring, so I was kind of jumping from tour to tour and just trying to like, you know, just trying to make it work and trying to get by. That's what's up. Yeah, how'd you yeah, get the yeah, yeah. How, how'd you get the name G Easy? Well, my name is Gerald. Um, when I was a kid, I went by G E, which is my initials, and G E just kind of became G Easy. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. And and uh, I know you said you listened to the to the to the Black album. Mm -hmm. Um but who were some other influences? Like who were you vibing with heavy yeah. that really helped to motivate you to to take the music seriously? Well, in the Bay, I mean E40, Mac Dre, Too Short, Mr. Fab, Keek the Sneak, like that era, of, you know what I'm saying? Just just Bay Area music cuz we it's it's a real like rich scene there of like local culture, you know what I'm saying? Regional culture, like, you know, so so the artists that I was listening to was primarily just like bass stuff, but on, you know, on like a like a outside of the bay was, you know, like I said, Ho, you know, Eminem fifty cent, you know, in that era, um, JD Kiss, you know, Mob Deep, stuff like that. Yeah. It seemed it seems does it seem to you that being a white rapper, you have to be like truly exceptional? um to 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 kind of like a break a barrier cuz we talk about racial barriers but it works both ways too you know what i mean so uh if if a white rapper comes on the scene you know like are the expectations higher because to me and and this is the reason i'm saying it to mm -hmm. me it seems like the successful white rappers are fucking great like they're so good because mm -hmm. you know it, 
I, I feel like they have to be exceptionally good to be almost accepted into something that is deemed think, as a think, black cultural thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think authenticity is, is the most important thing and just being true to yourself and, you know, like I like I said, doing it for the right reasons. But I think I think you have to be exceptional at music to, to matter in music, period. You know what I'm saying? Like but music specifically is, with rap, Jeezy, specifically yeah, with rap, I think, yeah, you know? But, yeah, but like, I mean, like, you know, music is a sacred thing. And then, you know, rap is, rap is, you know, it's, rap is culture, you know, hip hop is culture. And, yes. you know, you have to matter to it and you can't talk to a culture you don't belong to, you know, and, and to make music that matters, you know, it has to be exceptional period, you know, otherwise it's just noise. And, you know, especially in today's world where it's, you know, it's enough noise out there. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Especially noise. You got to be exceptional. Period. You got to you got to say something that resonates. You know, you got to speak from the heart, and you got to you got to do it in a way that's unique. You got to have a style. You got to have an approach. You got to have, you know. But, you know, just just at its core, you just gotta like, <clears throat> in my opinion, you know what I'm saying, authenticity and just and just being yourself, having something to say, and making exceptional music is the way to matter in music, you know what I'm saying? No, and your and your opinion matters. It's just an observation that I had, and, and it's really a compliment because you are exceptional in my book, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, with the M&Ms, it just seems that way, like, you know, like, you guys are really, really good, and that's, it's it, it, it's easier for, you know, your peers in the music industry to, to give you that props because you can't go around something that's so good, you know what I mean? No matter what color, no matter what you've been through, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's really props to you, man. Um, you, you, tell me a little bit about some of the, you know, we, we all know that once you cross it, you know, it's great. You get the accolades, you get the props uh, mm -hmm. from, from your fans and friends and peers. But tell me some of the rough parts of, of, of the rap game that you experience that you have to fight through. I mean, you know, when you put your heart and soul into something, you know, that's, that's, that's all that you have inside of you. You know what I'm saying? This, this music is, it, it's not something that, you know, you take lightly. It's like, no, this is my, this is my life. This is my purpose. This is my job. This is my, you know, this is my expression of myself. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you're trying to come up and you're putting out music and it's not connecting, you know, or, or, or you, you know, it's not being received the right way or, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just not hitting, you know, you kind of feel like, well, damn, that's me. That's my whole sense of self, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So like, that's, I mean, you know, when when you're trying to get out there, you're trying to get heard, you know, and, and, and you feel like it's not landing, it's like, it's, you know, it, it's tough. And then, you know, trying to, trying to put money into something that's, you know, not making it back, you know what I mean? Right. It's really hard to succeed in music. Um, you know, I was, I was reinvesting every dollar that I was making when I was living out of that suitcase funding my own music videos, you know, paying for everything myself. And, um, you know, every time you do that, it's kind of like gambling, right? You know, yeah. so you putting 30K on, you know, and, and you might not see that back. So, you know. That, that makes total sense. And um, listen, but you've had success, you know, in the past with, with you know, with your hits previously. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't see why you won't continue having success. Uh, and you kind of speak to things that are happening and, and you, you're giving the real part of yourself, and I think people do appreciate that. What's the what's your your latest single now that you're pushing? Provide with Chris Brown. Yeah, now, yeah. Now listen, <laughs> you know Chris Brown, he is the king of R and B right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I think that's a, a an amazing collab for you. Could you tell me how that came about? Yeah, nah. Shouts out to Chris. He was, I mean, one of the first artists in the industry, like for one of the first like major artists that, you know what I mean, really like showed me love. Um, and, you know, he's been that way ever since. He's always been solid with me. Um, we've done a few songs. And, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm working on a song with Hitmaker who produced it. Um, and, and he had the idea to flip Return of the Mac. And I'm like, yo, like that's, <laughs> You know what I mean? That's one of the more like, all right, if you're gonna do that, then that's what time it is. All right, you know what I mean? But, but that's you know, that's you know, that's that's bold. So, right, right. So, but all right, I put the verses down and uh I hit Chris. I just sent it right to him and a couple hours later he sent it back. He's a workaholic. He, you know what I mean? He just yeah, he works and works and works. He knocked it right out. He called me, he FaceTime me to play me the hook. He was screaming on the phone, like, we got what, bro? Like, yeah, you know, he's going crazy. You know, he he's somebody that, you know what I mean, his his energy comes through the music, you know. He's just one of those special talents. So I'm sure it was a pleasure to work with him once again on this Always. one. 
always, every time. That's dope, man. I, and and I wish you success with that. Is I mean, you know, you, you're already out of there with it, but you know, I wish you continued <laughs> success with it. Uh, who else are you looking to work with? I mean, you've worked with already a lot of amazing people in the industry. Who's some people that you would like yeah, to I tap ever, in with? I ever, if I ever got a verse from Ho, then I would just, you know what I mean? That was, <laughs> that's, you know what I mean? That would be my holy grail or something like that. Yeah. Listen, I, I I wish that for you, man. I wish that for you, yeah. and that lets me know how much you really respect, you know, hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm knocking yeah. too, and I, I, that lets me know how much you really respect the game and, and hip hop, you know, for 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 that selection of having Hove jump on a track with you. you um, G Easy, um, listen, man, I I truly wish you continued success and. and and um, I know that uh, the song with you and Breezy, man, that's going to take off crazy. Ain't no question about it. We pay, we playing it here on the radio station. My, my, my PD, DJ 33 and a third, man. You yeah, know, yeah. you know, he, 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 if I'm talking to you, you know, he's, he's, he's making sure that he's going to take good care of you, man. So you ain't got to worry about uh, uh, your song here in Miami, man. But um, listen, is there anything that, um, that, that, um, that you want to share with my audience here in Miami? Man, just sending love out to Miami. That's one of my favorite places that I miss the most. Shouts out to 11. I miss 11. I want to get back to 11. <laughs> man, I done had some good times in there, man. Um, nah, man, I just miss the whole city, man. Just sending love. Absolutely, man. And we miss you, too. And we can't wait till yeah. things open back up. Hopefully this fall we can get back to a level of normalcy, yeah. especially yeah. with seeing our favorite artists like you, Jeezy. Yes, yes. Hell yeah. All right. Well, take care of yourself. Right. Thank you so much and continue success, my brother. Thank you so much right, for yeah. this opportunity. Safe, all right. Safe, all we all we, right, we in the we in the mix right now, so I'm gonna talk to DJ Bulletproof and get your joint on right now. All right, appreciate you, bro. All right. All right, bless. Yeah.